Hello and welcome to a video on the Sharpe Ratio with me, Andy Duncan from Finlingo.com. Imagine three dollar investments. You've got a safe as houses US Treasury bond, you've got a low volatility blue chip equity stock, and you've got a high volatility startup stock. Although it's a low return, virtually anyone can get what's known as a risk-free return from the US Treasury bond. It's not very exciting, but for our purposes it's got zero volatility and zero risk. But we'd like something maybe a little bit better. Something a bit more exciting. How about this blue chip stock? It's better, and it does have lowish volatility and lowish risk, but it's still not really all that exciting. So what about this startup stock? What if you got yourself in here and got yourself out here? That's a fabulous return, but there is a problem. And this is the problem of financial risk. If you'd got in here instead and then got out here, you'd have lost the farm. Over the same period of time, the US Treasury has made a little tiny bit of money without any risk, and the blue chip has made a lot more with much less risk than the startup. And that's what the Sharpe Ratio tries to tell you. How much return do you get for every unit of risk that you're taking? So here's the equation. The expected return of the portfolio stock, take away the risk-free rate, then divide it by the risk volatility of the portfolio stock. And this can be said to be equal to the excess return of the stock, divided by the total risk of the stock. Here's our expected return from the investment. Here's the low but safe return of the US Treasury bond. And finally, we have the recorded risk volatility of the chosen investment. Now let's do an example with finlingo.com. First of all, we pick up the expected return, the risk-free rate, and the portfolio's recorded risk volatility. Now we plug these three figures into the sharp ratio equation to get the desired ratio output. Going back to finlingo.com, let's pick out the correct answer. And here's something to remember with the sharp ratio. The higher it is, the better it is. You're getting more return for less risk. And so now we could go through Finlingo's unique questions until you've got the sharp ratio down cold. Head over now to finlingo.com for both the sharp ratio and every other ratio you'll ever get asked about in any financial exam. Speak finance fluently.